spreading awareness throughout the month of March, especially when it comes to one of the most commonly diagnosed types of cancer, that's cancer of the colon. Jen Seelig caught up with the American Cancer Society to see what they've been up to. There's about 50,000 Americans that'll die from colon cancer this year. March is National Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month, a way to get the word out about this deadly disease. Well, colon cancer is one of the rare types of cancers that actually can be totally prevented um, without just by having the screening test done. Because if they can remove that polyp, then you never have to worry about colon cancer in terms of it developing. According to the American Cancer Society, colon cancer screening should begin at the age of 45 instead of 50. Generally speaking, if you have sudden weight loss um, or if you're just of screening age, um, generally the older you get, the more likely you are to possibly develop colon cancer, especially if you have a family history of polyps in your, in your family. So we would encourage people gen of general uh, risk to start screening at 45. We have a, an older population in this area, so that makes it more likely for cancers to develop um, because most of cancers are age related in terms of your risk going up. Um, but that's why it's also important for us to get the word out to people about getting screened and being proactive with your health. It's best to start speaking with your primary health care provider. You can talk to your health care provider and they'll probably refer you to a, uh, one of the local providers that does the endoscopy screenings. Um, if you don't have health insurance or you have a very high deductible, then there's a plan through New York State through the Cancer Services Program, which will provide screening for those that either have no insurance or have very high deductible plans. And it's only a phone call away to contact your local American Cancer Society branch for further questions. So we always encourage people, they can call us if they have specific questions about should they be screened or not or what age should they start, uh, but also talking to their health care provider and seeing what's best for them based on their family history. Reporting, Jen Selig, Eyewitness News.